there! Are you repotting one of your beloved tropical plants? And are you making your own potting mix? If so, this video is for you! I'm actually repotting my philodendron mecons, and I'm going to be making a chunky, nutritious potting mix for my baby. I've done a lot of research, and there are two things that tropical plants love, and that is drainage and fertilizer. For the recipe, I actually don't really follow one. I kind of just eyeball it, mainly because I kind of have a sense of how chunky I want my medium to be. And based on your environment, this might change it. So if you live in a, say, more uh, humid environment or a drier climate, you will adjust you know, how much moisture you want the potting mix to um, retain. Also, you know, I only water my plants once a week. So if you water your plants more often than that, or you like to, um, maybe you want to make it more draining. To begin, I like to add all the fertilizers first so that I know this is the amount of fertilizer I want in my mix. So to start, I do oyster shell. Oyster shell is a good source of calcium. So make sure you don't add too much because it clumps together because it's more like a powder or at least the one that I'm using. Just add two spoons of this. Next, I will add two spoons of organic fertilizer. This is made for tropical plants and it is a slow release fertilizer and, and um, it smells like um, bunny poo. Next, I will add two spoons of worm casting and this is literally worm poop. It doesn't smell, it's really good for your plants. According to the instructions, the ratio is about one to four. Um, four meaning the amount of potting mix, which is pretty kind of vague. So I have heard that you can add as much of this as you want and your plants won't OD. I have not tried this. But if you are going to add more, I would adjust the amount of chunky ingredients because you want to increase the drainage. The main ingredients that I use um, to add chunkiness to my mix is cocoa bark. And this one that I have particular is off of Amazon. It's actually for reptiles and it is super chunky. You can actually get uh, one that is more medium or fine and that is up to you but i would probably if i could choose i would probably just use a more medium one and that's probably more similar to um, orchid bark i added three handfuls of this and cocoa bark is you know good for uh, aeration it's good for holding moisture and uh, absorbing some of the nutrients that um, you give it through your watering or you know when it's released in the medium Charcoal is also another medium that I use to increase um, the chunkiness. It is supposed to filter out any toxins in the water and it also adds air and holds moisture in your potting mix. So uh, I've definitely seen it in many recipes. The one that I purchase is actually for aquariums to filter the water and I figure if it's good enough for fish, it's gotta be good enough for plants, right? Um, I also have the horticultural kind, and that is a little bit, um, the pieces are a bit bigger. So if you prefer that, um, go ahead and get the horticultural activated carbon. I had about four to five spoons of this. You can add more. I just, I just mix it in and make sure I see a good even distribution of it. I don't think it'll hurt if, it, if you add more. Another thing I use is perlite to help increase the drainage, increase the airflow, it also holds moisture, uh, it is widely used in agricultural practices, but the perlite that I actually got is off of Amazon, not from the big box store. I had a bag of that before, I do not like it. It gets, it, it breaks apart really easily, when you get to the bottom of the bag all you get is like dust. Um, this one that I got, the, the pieces are slightly bigger, but they hold together a lot better. So I recommend it if you wanna use perlite. If you don't wanna use perlite, you can use pumice. They are pretty much identical to me. They serve the same purpose. I think I used about five to six uh, spoons because I just 
dumped it all in. Once again, I just kind of eyeball it and mix, mix it around and, and see how it feels. You can increase or decrease the amount based on what we talked about before, your environment and your watering habits. Last but not least, I would say cocoa peat makes up an additional 45% of the base. Cocoa peat is great because it holds moisture, it allows for airflow, and it does not condense. It stays nice and fluffy, unlike uh, peat moss. And so I highly recommend it. A lot, I root a lot of my tropical plants in it and they really love it. The roots that they develop are really strong and really quick. And I think it has to do with the amount of air they're receiving. Now that you have your mix, I highly recommend you wet the mix thoroughly to see what it will look like when it is in the pot. If it is too wet or too dry, this is your chance to adjust it further. Also, give it a good squeeze to see how light or dense it is. You want a light and fluffy medium. So that is my mix. Uh, at different times, I might add different things depending on what I have or what I run out of. But the idea is, you know, fertilizer, chunkiness. To summarize, use approximately 45 to 50% cocoa peat and adjust this number based on the amount of water retention you would like your medium to have. The next 40% is really dedicated to drainage. So any combination of cocoa bark, charcoal, pumice, or perlite will be sufficient. Lastly, the remaining 10% will be dedicated to fertilizer. Please note that some plants are sensitive to over-fertilizing such as calatheas, so I would keep it closer to 7 to 10%. And other plants like philodendron and monsteras are heavy feeders, so I would increase this to 15 to 20%. Please note that each fertilizer has its own characteristic, therefore, you need to adjust the medium accordingly for moisture retention as well as drainage. And if you don't want to buy all these ingredients, which I would totally understand, you can actually just get um, succulent and cactus mix. It's already super draining, so just add fertilizer to it and you're ready to go. If you have any questions, we'll love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you. And until next time, happy growing. Just start out with you had your hand in front of your mouth. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is your recipe. <laughs>